Hi, I'm Despicable Dogs, and when I'm not photoshopping heads onto hamster bodies or wrestling people in the Walmart parking lot, I'm listening to The Snowplow Show on Prank Call Nation. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Roy Co. Trucking? Uh, no. No! No! Uh, fuck you, fuck you. How you doing? Shit, shit. I am the Easter Bunny. Shit, shit. Well, where, 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 no, you're not. Well, shit, fuck. Well, because you're not? Fuck. Oh, Lord. You get off of my phone. My mother is retarded. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, we'll know that that's not good business. You you bring it to our house. You throw the box on the side of the road. On the side of the road. No, side no. of the road. What is this bullshit? I'm sick of your bullshit. I'm hanging up. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. But thank, okay. Thank, thank, Sorry. Thank, thank, thank for, you. Thanks for being uh-huh. an unhelpful cunt. cunt. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Is Mary Brown. It's time to business. Hello, everybody. This is the Snowplow Show, episode 804. It's brought to you by Kurama, Holden MJ, Synthhead, JT, and FOD87. Meet up in Chicago. That's the only announcement I have. There's a link in the show notes. It's going to be on September 9th and 10th in Chicago, Illinois. And Giad, he released the rest of those calls we made. They're a lot of fun to hear. You can find those on youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. I haven't even heard the final few. I need to get on there and listen to the rest of them. And that's it for the announcements. Let's do some calls. Hello. Hi, Teresa. Who's calling? It's Brad from the apartments. From the down here at the office. It's, it's who? Brad from the apartments. Your, what your, apartment? Your landlord on the street. Okay, and your name is what? Brad. I don't know you. Oh, I don't know you. I don't know you either, lady. I'm just calling the lady. Why are you calling? Well, that's what I was trying to get to, but you're giving me the third degree. Jeez. Well, I'm sorry, but I I didn't know who you and uh, it's kind of strange. This is the first time I've had you to call. I don't mean no harm by it, but this is my first time hearing you call. Okay. And I was... Stop yelling uh, yelling at me. Jeez. Uh, we're gonna use. No, I'm not yelling. Wait a minute, I got you on my car phone. Maybe I'm not yelling, but maybe I'm talking louder than oh, okay. I need to. Okay. <laughs> uh. I'm cutting the volume down. Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. All now, right. What's up? Uh, we're gonna take one of your closets. You know your bedroom closet. We we'll take one of them for what? Uh, we need to use your bedroom closet closet as an electrical room, and we're just gonna fill it up with. With breaker boxes, you know those switches, those electrical breaker boxes. We're gonna fill up your whole closet with those, and there's gonna be a loud humming noise come from it all the time. I know you joking. This ain't who you, I don't know who this is. This is not Brad. Oh, I don't. I mean, I don't know who you are. I am too, Brad. No, we're just gonna replace your closet with an electrical room, and uh, maintenance might need to come in there sometimes. And flip no, a, flip a few no, switches. no, I, I disagree. And I don't know what you're doing. I don't know who this is and why you're doing it, but you, you, no. You can still hang your, I don't agree with that. You can still hang your clothes in there. Just don't let them touch the electrical boxes. No, no, no. I don't want nothing else in my closet. Find somewhere else to put them. Well, no. no. No, yours is the best place because it's centrally located. No, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not. Ma'am, you don't no, know, you don't know no. what centrally located means because that's where all the wires are in the walls. No, no they go, I'm sorry. I don't want no humming noise, all this stuff disturbing me while I'm just doing my things I do. Oh, no, it's no, actually... find another place. It's actually... I'm sorry. It's very relaxing, no, no. Teresa. It's relaxing. It's a relaxing hum. I'm it, sorry. It, it's like at 440 hertz. And and it, it sounds very. It's like um. It's like listening to the ocean while you sleep. I, I don't want to discuss this anymore. No, I I disagree with that. No. It's like listening to a thunderstorm. I don't know who. The, 
Don't don't upset me today, please. I'm busy. I'm I, I'll tr- talk with you later on. I'm not, no, try- I'm not no, trying to upset you. What this is all about? Oh, I'll tell you what it's about. We're gonna we're gonna remodel your closet, and it's gonna look brand new. No, you're not. No, boxes. no, no. Oh, okay. I disagree with that. Well, who do you want us to do this to then? Your next door neighbor? I don't know. But make enough build some more. Use the storage room outside. Anything other than mine? No. I've been living there for ten years. I like it the way it is. Yeah, no. but you'll have use some of the library. Use some of the library then. You'd ha- you'd have more buttons this way. More buttons in your closet. Take a take a portion of the library. No, sir. No. Hey, no I disagree. You could play pranks on the other neighbors by shutting off their power. No, sir. I don't know who. I, no, I, I disagree. Don't please don't call me no more. Oh, okay. I don't even know who you are. Who you say you are okay, anyway? Okay, well, calm down. I I love you, Teresa. Oh, yes. look, sir. I'm gonna hang up because I don't know who you are. I know. I'm, and, and, uh, I'm saying goodbye. I'm saying I love you. Goodbye. You don't love me. You don't even know me. Well, no, I lo- and I don't I, know you. I love everybody. I'm a child of God. And God teaches me to love everybody equally. Oh, I don't know that. Okay, then. I'll talk with you later. Bye. Okay, well, you're making it weird. Can you say I love you, too? Hello? Hello, who is this? This is Carol. I'm the telephone operator. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Teresa? I've initiated a phone trace and I've determined your name is Teresa. Teresa, you hung up your phone improperly. You, you didn't hit the button. See, if you had more buttons in your closet, you'd, you'd know how to work buttons better. Teresa! At least pull your phone out so I can hear your conversations. Come on. Ugh, this is bullshit. Teresa, do you read me? Shh. Teresa, I can hear you breathing and, and wrestling around. All right, Teresa has gone completely silent, so I guess I'm going to hang up the phone on her. I still hear occasional rustling around, but she is not responding to anything. So bye, Teresa. I was really hoping she'd pick back up. I'm calling off of uh, Reggie's list again, the one that has little clumps of apartment numbers in it. And I found an apartment here on a certain street. I think it might be possibly old people apartments, but it's hard to tell. Hello. Hi, Aretha. Hey, how are ya? What? How are ya? Oh, I'm okay. It's Steve Dave you down, okay? down at the office. Huh? Uh, this is Steve Dave down at the office here at the apartments. Down at the office? Yeah. I'm yeah, not I'm, catching your voice. Are you catching your voice? <laughs> I'm going to catch your voice. Uh, huh? Oh, I, I needed to let you know we're going to be um, putting a tube through your apartment. A tube? Oh, I see who you talk to. You are now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The office. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be putting a what? A tube, like a clear tube. It's going to go up, up along your ceiling, and it's going to be mm-hmm. a, a pneumatic tube. We're going to send each other things through it. Oh. But I mean, it's not for oh. you to use. It's just gonna. You're gonna see a tube. In your ceiling that's clear, and you'll just occasionally see stuff go across it, across your ceiling. Really? Yeah, it's a pneumatic tube. It like they like they use at banks. Like they use at what? Like they use at banks. Oh, well, that's that's something new to me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put that in your ceiling, and occasionally you'll just you'll you'll hear it whiz by. Mm-hmm. And you'll see it up there in the ceiling. Okay. okay. I'm going to let you get to explain it better to me. 
<laughs> oh, I thought I was. Exp- I have. I never heard of that before. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know, you've been to a bank before, right? Like in the drive-through where they send you all your stuff in a tube. Oh, I got you. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have one of those in your living room ceiling. It's gonna go straight across the top of your ceiling and through your kitchen and out the other side. Oh. It's so. Okay. It's so. It's so we can send uh, stuff over to maintenance across across the yard. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And um, that's, that's something new. Yeah, yeah. You're just you're gonna hear like occasionally when you're sitting in your living room, you'll just hear like a loud windy noise. Oh really? And it'll be like shroop. And also, it's gonna oh. it's gonna make beeping sounds. It's gonna sound like this. Every single time we send something through. Oh. You're going to hear that oh, in, really? in, in your living room. We're going to have a beeper in your living room. Okay. I, that's, that's something really new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be very high tech. Yeah. Very high tech. Yes, I see. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we'll be there in the yeah, morning yeah. to install the tubes. Okay. All righty. All right. I love you. Love you too. Goodbye. Bye bye. Well, she didn't have much to say about that. And I think I'm right. I think this is an apartment for old people only. They discriminate against age. Oh, look at this. I think this one is a trailer park. I guess I can't do pneumatic tubes through the trailer parks. Or maybe I can. I could just say everyone gets a pneumatic tube. Hello? Hi, where's Linda? Hello, who am I talking to? Uh, th- this is Brad from the uh, the trailer park. The mobile home park. Uh-huh. Is Linda is around? Yeah, hey, what's up? Or is this I'm her a- husband. You can talk to me. Oh, okay. This is Bruce. Yes. You should have said that to begin with. Okay. Oh, well, um, we're we're uh, gonna be putting a pneumatic tube in your in your trailer in your mobile home. A uh, who? A pneumatic tube. So it's it's like when you go to the bank and you know they send your money through those tubes. You're gonna put it in my trailer. Yeah, we're gonna put one in every trailer. We're setting up a, a pneumatic tube system here. So we're gonna be there to install yours in the morning. We. So what what do you what what is this tube? Hold on, what is this tube for? Uh, well, it's a pressurized tube, and you can send stuff to the office, and we can send stuff to you, like eviction notices and stuff. Oh, but why would you send me an eviction notice? Well, just if you're going to be evicted, you know, we we won't do that uh, unless you need to be evicted. But you know, I'm just saying we can send anything. If you're unhappy, you can take a shit. In the little container thing and send that to the office. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay. Here's Linda. Hello. Hey, Linda. It, it's, Hello. It's, hey, Linda. It's Brad from the office at the mobile home park. Brad. Yeah, it's Brad. I never met you. I, I never, know, I I never met you either, lady. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, I was in the middle of doing something. Uh, what were you doing? Cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. hey, you're not I'm home here. right now, are you? Yeah, what's up now? Uh, okay. We're, we're going to be putting pneumatic tubes in your in your uh, mobile home. What's that? Uh, you know, like at the bank, when they when they send your money through and it comes in a little container inside of a tube? We're setting up a tube. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to be putting a tube in every single mobile home. It'll, it'll, it'll all be connected, they'll all be connected to the office. Oh, uh, yeah. What's that? What's up with it? I mean, well, you know, break just, it down. So we can send each other things. Understand. We can send you an eviction notice if we need to send you an eviction notice. You know, stuff, uh, stuff like that. I never heard of nothing like that, and, though. I mean, and then we don't have to walk never, over there. Walk over there. And and you'll be able to send uh, containers to any trailer you want in the entire area. For what? Well, like if you're if you're just angry at a certain neighbor, you can just you know fill fill one up with dirt and send it to them. They won't know where it came from. That's funny. 
Nah, no, I'm funny. serious. Like that's what I, I'm planning. No. I'm planning some <laughs> shenanigans when this happens. <laughs> I never heard of this in my life. Like, do, do, a you, joke. do you know? Do you know um, the lady named Danella? Who is that? Uh, well, she she lives. Um, I, I I I shouldn't tell you where you know what trailer number she's in, but uh, I don't like her uh-huh. at all. I'm gonna take a huge shit in, in this pneumatic tube and send it to her trailer. Yeah, right. I am. Just don't tell her it was me. Was that a hang up? Oh yeah, that was a hang up. Linda and Bruce are apparently not interested in upgrading their mobile home with pneumatic tubes. People are always afraid of change. Hello. Hi, Shalonda. Who is this? It's Jerry from the trailer from the mobile home park. Uh-huh. Um, I needed to let you know that we're making a change to your electrical there. Okay. And uh, I'm on the phone with the uh, Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico. They're wiring up one of the switches inside their electrical room all the way over there in New Mexico. And whenever they hit that switch, it's going to shut off the power to your mobile home. Just most yes. of it. Just most of it. Is it going to come back on? Or? Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're not going to try to hit the, the switch inside their, their uh, electrical room. Uh, it's just that we're we're all on the same power grid, you know, and it's a, a weird happenstance, a bunch of happenstances. Like, um, I don't know, your your power is connected to this Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico. So they're going to put a switch in there for you. And maybe occasionally okay. a maid might switch it off by accident. Or, or a guest might get in. And you're just from where? Uh, oh, from from the the mobile home park. No, okay. So I have a new address. I'm, oh no! I'm in Princeton. You're a what? I'm in Princeton. Oh, so. okay. Why'd you move? I I don't know you. So okay, well, calm down. Jeez, I'm not trying to steal your identity. We're just wiring up a switch to where you used to live. So uh, oh, okay. They can hit a switch. Um, over there at the Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico, and that'll turn off your trailer. Okay, that's their problem that lives there now. That's not my problem. Oh, well, that's, so that's a letting... shitty attitude, ma'am. That's a shitty attitude to have, <laughs> saying it's their problem. Come on. Don't, don't be a jerk okay. about it. You have a good one. All right, I love you. Love you. <laughs> I am just about done with this mobile home park. I haven't gotten a hold of many people here. Hello. Hello, Carrie? Hello? Hello, is this Carrie? Carrie? Yeah. Yes? Okay, it's hard to hear you. This is Jerry over at the uh, the office here with the mobile home yeah. park. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank God you picked up. What's up? Oh, we're making a change to your electrical system there. Um, I'm on the phone with a Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico, and they're hooking up a switch inside their electrical room, and whenever they hit that switch all the way over there in New Mexico, it's going to shut off all your power. When? Uh, just whenever they hit it, anytime. It'll be like that forever. Huh? Because we're all, we're all on the same electrical grid, you know? Yeah. And it's just a bunch of weird happenstances that that made this possible. And you're hooked up to this to this uh, breaker box in a hotel in New Mexico. Isn't that weird? Yes. Yeah. So every time a maid comes in and hits that switch by accident, your power is going to yeah. go off. How long will it be off? Uh, until the maid turns it on. You might. I I might need to give you this phone number to this Holiday Inn. Wait a minute, let me give me a let okay. me give me a pen. Uh, okay. Good God, I'm mad at me. Don't be what, mad. Don't be don't, mad. don't be mad. No, I'm not mad, but oh God. Yeah, well, they're not supposed to hit it. They're gonna put a note on it that says, "Don't turn this one off." But sometimes customers sneak into the to the electrical room there, and they just start hitting yeah. buttons all willy nilly. Oh God! Give me your number, please. Okay the the number to the Holiday Inn. In Roy, New Mexico, is 505... Royals. What? Spare Royal. Oh, it's just Roy. R-O-Y. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay. That's the city name. It's a bustling uh, city in uh, New Mexico. Uh huh. That has its own Holiday Inn, and yeah, there, there's a there's an electrical room. Uh, it's on their mm-hmm. first. It's on their first floor, and there's a switch. Yeah. There's a switch in there. Oh, you want the phone number, right? Yeah. Oh, sh- okay. It's um five oh five. Uh huh. Uh huh. Two five nine. Okay. Six six one eight. Oh God. Yeah, just if if, if your power oh. ever goes out, you just need to, to call that Holiday Inn. And, call and, this number here. Yeah, and just tell them to go into the into the electrical room and hit switch number ninety three. Number ninety three. Yeah. Number ninety three. Yeah, like anybody could go in there and just shut that off. They don't even lock that door. Some, God. Sometimes kids get in there and they just. They they just start, you know, going crazy, hitting buttons. Yeah, just call this number and number 93, sweet 93. Yeah, not sweet 93. Switch. It's just, it's a button. Switch. Yeah, switch. Switch 90, number 93. Okay. Hey, um. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, Brad, he's, he's inside of the, he's inside of the electrical room right now. He wants to start hitting switches and see if you're. If your power goes off, yeah. can can you just start hitting switches now just for fun? Oh, my, yeah, good God Almighty! Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Okay, I'm hitting. I won't have to call, will I? Oh no, no, we're on the phone with them right now. They're hooking it up. They're just hooking oh, it up. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Brad, hit the switches. Oh, 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 what's that? Brad, are you okay? There's an alarm going off. What's in the world? Oh, Carrie, there's an alarm going off. Ah! I do, there's, an, there's an alarm going off in the electrical room. I heard it. Brad, turn the switches off. Quick, quick. What in the world? Oh, hey, thank my goodness. Power, but my power didn't go out, though. Oh, yeah, well, the, he, Brad, you okay? I guess he's still hooking it up. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess uh, that oh, was premature oh. to try. Oh, okay. Um, are you watching oh. TV or anything? Yeah. Okay. Can you leave your TV off for the next five weeks? Oh, what? Can you just leave your television off for the next five weeks? The next five weeks. Yeah. I can't turn my TV on? Yeah, because if you turn it on, it might electrocute an electrician. Huh? It might electrocute an an electrician at the Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico. Oh, my God. Leave it off for how long, you say it? Uh, five, five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. What do you watch? Do you watch anything important? We don't. We don't want to let my TV. Jerry, will my TV be coming on so I can see it? Oh yeah, it, it'll still work. But if if you turn it on and if you watch it, you run the risk of electrocuting an electrician working on the. Don't ever turn it off. Yeah, you have to leave it on all day and all night. Well, how would I turn it back on? Like, it would it would it come on by itself? Well, can you just run an extension cord for your TV and run it to the neighbor's house? Huh? Just just run an extension cord from the TV to your neighbor's house. To your neighbor's house. Yeah, because you know, like, just to be, just just to be safe. Oh my god! Oh me, I'm I'm just kidding about your TV. I'm just kidding about the TV part. Now? Yeah, you can watch TV and you can turn it off. I was just kidding. You won't electrocute uh-uh. anybody. That wait was a minute, joke. Wait, wait. wait. I was tr- I was trying to make Brad on the phone nervous. Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah, yeah. I need for you to stop by my house. Okay. Come on. I'll I'll come over. Where, where are you at? Where are you? I'm in the office. Come to my house before you leave, please. Until we, uh, before I what? You in your office where? 
here, yeah. yeah, here, here in in the in the trailer, the mobile home park. Oh, please stop by my house before you go home. Okay, I'll do that. Please. Oh. Okay, but I'm just kidding about okay. the TV. You you can watch as much TV as you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just uh, the switch in uh, Roy, New Mexico, is connected to your tr- your mobile home park now. Mobile home, I mean. Oh. Yeah, just just a, a weird, weird thing that happened on the electrical grid this week. Oh. I hate when this stuff happens. Yeah. I I used to have a light switch on my wall that didn't do anything, and I would just hit yeah. it. I would just hit it all the time. Yeah. And just turn it off and on just for fun. And then one yeah. night, one night, Mrs. Stuman called me up and told me to cut it out. And and she she lived uh-huh. in Nebraska. Yeah. Electricity is a weird thing. I know. Oh. All right. Um, uh, stop by my house before you go home, please. Okay, I will. If you won't have to stay long, just stop by my house. Okay, if we flick your power off and on, I'm sorry about that. It was just a maid. Just leave it off? Oh. Come back home. Yeah, oh no, it'll come. Are you still, still going to do it today? Oh no, um, I think they're hooking it up today. Your your, oh, okay. your power might blink, but it'll come right back on. Oh okay. All right. Oh God, what am I going to do, do with you? Uh, I, I don't can't know. Do nothing with you though. What? <laughs> yeah, okay, no. just, just do whatever, whatever. You got to call up that Holiday Inn and and do something to them. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, don't do not do it. Okay. No, I'm not going to do it. No. Just uh, stop by my house when you go home. Okay, all right. I'll okay, in, bye, I'll ins- Jimmy, bye. I'll install a pneumatic tube while I'm there. Yeah, what? A pneumatic tube. What's that? Uh, it's like, I don't, um, um, actually, we're all out of pneumatic tubes. I'm sorry, I can't install a pneumatic tube at your house today. I really have to go. Okay. Yeah, Brad's yelling at me. He's he's. Uh, I hear the buzzer going off again. Oh, okay. On... Go ahead, on Dean. Bye, bye. Okay, yeah, I better yeah. go. Okay, bye, bye. Oh. Okay, ah. bye, bye. okay. I got a little tired of talking to her, but every time she has a power failure from now on, she's gonna be calling the Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico. Except there is no Holiday Inn in Roy, New Mexico. There's not even a hotel there. I don't think. I don't know what number I gave her. I just made that up. Does anyone remember the comedian Stephen Wright? I'm pretty sure I stole that light switch joke from him. I forget how it goes. I think he said some lady in Paris or something called him up and told him to knock it off. Hello? Hi, is this Lyndon? Yes. Hey there. That's Jerry from the office here at the here at the, the mobile home park. Uh-huh. Uh, I was just looking through your file here. Uh-huh. And just, uh, you know, kind of going over papers. And um, you have very nice nice handwriting. I'm sorry? You have very nice handwriting. Thank you. I just wanted to say your handwriting is, it's it's uh, very nice. I like it. <laughs> it's like looking at calligraphy. Okay. <laughs> Did you need something? Oh yeah, um, we they wanted me to ask you if you could stop digging a basement underneath your trailer because we don't allow basements here. I do not have a basement under my trailer. Yeah, that's why you're digging one. Can you please stop digging a basement down? No, I'm not. I'm not digging one. I'm not digging one. I'm. Uh, I'm not digging a oh, basement we, under my trailer. Yeah, we, no, we know you're digging it from inside, and and you're just digging straight down and. Uh, you've made a staircase. <laughs> I didn't know what to do on that one. I had no plan. Uh, Hi, is this Sykeena? This is Harry. Oh. We sound just alike. What? You don't, you don't sound Who anything like... You don't sound anything like Sykeena. There's Sykeena right here. She's just walking in the door. Oh, you tell her to keep her mouth shut, because I'm talking to you. Yeah, but she keep your mouth shut. That's because right. He's talking to me. That's right. <laughs> now, what is it, Jim? What is it now? 
Oh, uh, this is Jerry at the, uh, the the mobile home office. Yes, I know it's you. What is it? Uh, I just wanted to say that your uh, trailer is very pretty. You're, you're doing uh-huh. you're doing a good job keeping the flowers up, and we're gonna put a sign. Yeah. At, we're we, we're we're uh, tempted to put a sign out in front that says you have the in nice the nicest trailer in this area. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just like we did. Just like we did for Beverly. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Eat. I'm not shitting yeah. him, oh, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I said that. Is Saikina keeping her mouth shut? She's right here. Oh, uh, do, well, you just, do you want to talk to her? Uh, okay. Here, come here and talk to Jerry. To our Jerry. <laughs> our Jerry. Hello. Hi, Saikina. <laughs> Like yeah, this is a Oh, you don't sound anything like her. She thinks she sounds just like you. No, oh, sometimes we do, but yeah, this is Sakina. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to be, you know, your closet there? Like you, My you, closet? Yeah, your closet. Yeah, what about it? Uh, we're going to be remodeling your closet, and you're not going to be able to keep clothes in there anymore. I don't know. That's your problem. But we're going to be turning your closet into a uh, a freezer, you know, like a freezer in in a restaurant where you open it up and it's the walls are all silver and stuff. Ah, uh, you got to be kidding! Oh no, no, I'm sorry. We need to use your closet as a freezer. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you won't have to pay for the electricity. We're going to run a special line, and we'll pay for the electricity. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll be over in the morning, and we'll get started on that. So make sure your closet is completely emptied out. Make sure my closet is completely clear. Yeah. Are you joking with me? Oh, no. I would not kid about this, ma'am. Nope. We, we need the extra space for the uh, for the freezer. Extra space for a freezer? Yeah, we're going to put a free... We're going to turn your closet into a freezer. It's going to be one of those. I'm turning my clothes into a freezer. What kind of freezer? A big walk-in freezer. A big walk-in freezer. For who? For who? Well, you know, for us. And you guys, you're, you're not allowed to go in there. We're going to keep a lock on it. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you, you got jokes. <laughs> what are you talking about jokes? I don't joke. I'm a Christian. That's a joke. Cause my closet is not turned into a freezer. I not not yet. It'll start tomorrow. Can you tell Terry to shut her mouth? <laughs> tell her shut her. Please you shut your. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this Sakina, you got some other news for me? <laughs> uh no. Other than you both are so annoying, and you're just laughing about the whole thing. But we'll see who's okay. laugh. We'll see who's laughing after we convert your closet into a freezer. Look now, I, that's not funny about that freezer. Now you keep you keep on joking about that freezer. Yeah, so I, just, my clothes are gonna be right in there in the morning. They'll be frozen though. They'll they'll be it's it's gonna be like uh, they'll you just know, have two, to be frozen then. You just keep your clothes under under your damn bed, ma'am. Oh, uh-uh, you uh uh-uh. uh uh uh-uh. uh don't be talking about keep your clothes. Under your what, what bed? Come da- under my damn bed. Yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah your damn nope. bed. That's where I keep mine. <laughs> That's where you keep yours. Okay, well, yeah. you keep yours under the bed. I just wad them up. Uh, I'm going to keep mine in the closet. <laughs> no, you're not, because that's going to be a deep freeze, and we're going to put a lock on it. Okay, whatever you say. I got you. All right, can you go over there and, and hit Terry? For, for- yeah, Hit Carrie. Yeah, for laughing so much. Oh, for laughing so much. Uh huh. All right, I want to hear it. Uh, okay, she would like to speak to you again. Uh, I gotta go. Uh uh-uh, uh, here she is. Don't uh, to my. I got to go. Wait a minute. No, he won't go. So stop that, Jerry. I asked Sakina to hit you in the face. Did she do it? No. Okay, just checking. Cause she loved me that much. No. Yeah. Well, it wasn't about love. Is this is a business hit? You're going to stop out here before you go home. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Please do. I, I just need to ask you one more question. Jerry, 
Just stop by. Okay. Just stop by. I'll stop by. I'm gonna keep you just one, one or two minutes. Okay. I'm gonna make. Sh- I'm gonna make sure Sakina's uh, emptying out her closet. Oh, okay. that's fine with me. I don't care. Yeah, fuck her in her closet. Okay. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Bye bye. I love hey, you. Bye bye. I-, I love you. We love you too, baby. We love you. Oh, thank you so much. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Well, that was just the nicest prank call ever. I really enjoyed that one. That was the last number for that mobile home community. I think I'll just call up some regular numbers here without apartment numbers. See what they're up to. Oh. Hi, is this Candy? Yeah, who is Oh, this is uh, Dave from the city of... Uh-huh. I needed to let you know we're going to come over tomorrow and dig a large hole in your front yard. Oh, wow. Um, well, there's, it's just for training purposes. There's going to be a bunch mm-hmm. of trucks out there and a bunch of men, and they're going to put up yellow tape and everything. And, yeah, they're just going to dig out your entire front yard, pretty much. What? For they're, what? Uh, it's just for training. Is it, Is it like, so they can learn how to dig, you know? we got to train them on, oh, no, on someone's that's yard. That's a lie. What's Somebody a, lie. What's a lie? I'm with the city, ma'am. Who is this? Uh, th- this is. Gr- oh, okay. Well, right now I'm trying to get ready to eat, and I ain't got time to play. So, what do you want? Well, I'm not playing. I'm letting you know we're gonna be out tomorrow to dig a hole in your yard. Okay. Well, call Mr. Jerry. That's the landlord. Why are you telling me? Well, no, you you call him up. That's not my job. You call him up and tell him uh, we'll nah. be out there. And the I ain't calling him. We're digging like a ten foot hole baby. in your front yard. I gotta go though. Why? What are you doing? Oh, it's so important. Oh, yeah, see, I know you playing. Oh, you're playing. I mean, look, up. What are you talking about? This lady has such a large lawn, too. It's not going to matter. Oh? Hi, Joanne? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Gary from AT&T. We're going to be changing your number tonight. This 9412. Why? Uh, we just have to change it because I don't know if you're aware of this, but your number spells out a vulgar word. So uh, I've got your new number here if you'd like to write that down. That's crazy. Well, no. We've it, got it, that all in our advertising and everything. What advertising? For everything that we send out. Oh, well, I don't know anything about your, your personal business. I'm just letting you know you're, you, you don't want to be putting that out there, that vulgar word. Well, so I've had, we've had this number for uh they're almost 30 years. Yeah, but do you know what three s- two spells? I'm not going to say it because it's vulgar. Three, six, nine. Yeah, well, you know, like if you if you were to uh, spell it out on a telephone keypad, it's a very vulgar word, ma'am. Well, I don't it, want it changed. Well, ma'am, you can't be just having pornographic words like that in your phone number that, that's too bad that's gross it's my number but it's gross, you, gross. You, ma'am Joanne, Joanne just hung up on me she wins she gets to keep her phone number i don't know why i suddenly decided to change a phone number on this list i think i'm running out of ideas hello hey uh this is brad your neighbor i was in your backyard last night and i was wondering if you found uh, anything back there that I left behind? Um, what, what, what's the address? What, oh, your address? The, the 308 street? I was laying out there in the backyard last night around 2 or 3 in the morning. You was in my backyard? Yeah. But I was just, Who is like, this? I think I left something behind, though. Who is this? Uh, th- this, this is Brad. And what house do you stay in? What? Oh, I'm I'm way down the road. This was in my backyard. What's that? How was you in my backyard? Oh, I I just uh you know I'm just a late night person. I was just walking around the neighborhood. I was just laying in your backyard. I th- I think my keys are back there. Do you see my car keys? My house keys? No, I'm about to call the cops if he was in my backyard. Why? I wasn't doing anything back there. I wasn't being weird. I was just laying laying down. On the grass. 
Why would she call the police? I didn't do nothing. And also, I got dog poop in my hair, so I should call the police on her. I think I'm going to end it there, because that's a good place to end it, where I get the police called on me. Thanks for listening, everybody. Let's listen to some voicemails now. Hey, Brad. Buckshot. Hey. I'm just driving home right now. I'm ordering dinner, so just give me a sec here. Okay. All right, cool. Um, I just wanted to say your show's great. I really appreciate it. And then I have nothing to say for this voicemail. Um, but I am driving, and I hope that it sounds great. Yeah, thanks so for that. So I hope that. you have a great day or night or whatever it is, and I hope this is not too long. Okay, bye! It was 29 seconds, so it is acceptable, I suppose. Good job. That voicemail was well worth all of our time. Hey, Brad. It's that, uh, it's that one guy, you know. Um, yeah. So my friend L loves listening to prank call shows. He really loves them, and he wants to try listening to yours since they recommended it to him. But the thing is, is he's deaf. So I was wondering he's if dead? you could do a couple shows in Braille for him and, you know, for the rest of the deaf community. Oh, okay. That'd be awesome. Thanks, right. man. Love you. Bye. I'll do that. The next episode, it's going to be in Braille, everybody. Get out your Braille decoder rings, because it's happening. Hi, Brad. Josh from LA again. Hey. Um, I tried doing the scary monster faces on my baby daughter, uh-huh. but it's not working. I, she was crying a second ago. I don't know if she, she was still here. Yeah, there she goes. Ugh. Um, need more advice, man. Just don't have any more kids. Chill out, grow all that stuff eventually. Just wait it out. Oh, you bad. Still here, calling from Asheville. Hey. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me where I could find the song Praise the J by Rappy McRapperson. Okay. The only fucking version I can find is one of you solving a Rubik's Cube where you interrupt and fucking cut the song off. I'm such so, a dick. Can't find it anywhere else. Love the song. Um, let me know, Brad. Bye. I will put a link in the description for you to Praise the J by Rappy McRapperson. I promise, unless I forget. Hey, Brad. Lumberjack Pat here from Indy. Hey. Well, I just wanted to tell you I've been listening to you for like 10 years. and Holy crap. Sometimes I put you on when I'm trying to sleep, and then once in a while I just end up LOLing. Well, I sure enjoyed it when you used to uh, flush the toilet all the time, and sometimes I'd be trying to go to sleep and I'd have to wake up and... LOL. So I just enjoy so I'm, I'm your shit and I hope you disrupting your sleep schedule. I'm sorry Lumber about Jack. that. Lumberjack Pat away. You should try listening while you're awake and then you'll sleep better. Hey, Brad. It's Glenn Fielding. Hey, hey, man. It's been a long time. I haven't listened to the show in like probably a couple years. You dick. Just want to say I miss fucking miss you guys and I'm going to be coming back soon. Okay. Is there more? I also forgot to mention I'm drunk as hell right now. Ah, there you go. So that, yeah. Thank I'm you, so Bye. impressed with your drunkenness. That's so cool that you're drunk. How do you even know what the voicemail number is if you haven't listened in two years? Hey, Roy, I'm your I'm your Fed calling from your house. Uh, there's still no warrants out for your arrest. Congratulations. Okay. Um, this is going to be a fuck job to edit, but I love you, man. As I usual. Bye. Okay, that's all the voicemails I could take, so that is the end of the show. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Kurama, Holden MJ, Synthhead, JT, and FOD87. Here's a song by Nobby Guy. This one's called Bandicam.
a blue lawn. 